So I wanted to tell a story about um, having a kid. Uh, me and my wife were the first ones married uh, out of both sides of our families, and everyone was always, you know, asking, hey, when are you going to have kids? When are you going to have kids? Um, so much so that, you know, we really started praying because uh, it just wasn't happening. Um, year after year would go by, disappointment after disappointment, until finally my wife got pregnant, and we were overjoyed. Um, you know, did what you weren't supposed to do, and we got excited. We told our families. We got all excited. Um, then a few months in, uh, lost the baby. And the devastation that we felt, the, uh, the hurt that we felt, the, the anger that I felt toward God, and wondering how He could take this away from us, something that we've been praying for so hard. Um, there's a lot of deep sorrow that goes into just everyday life. Um, I'm knowing full well that there are people out there who struggle with so much worse, but this, this was mine. This was something that I wanted, something that I felt, I felt I should be. Our pastor at the time uh, came up to us, not knowing anything about it. Uh, we decided to keep a lot of this stuff private. And he just looked at us and said, you know what? I'm praying for you. I'm, I'm praying that you and your wife have a child that you're going to love, that you are going to uh, know is one that God promised you. And you know, as, as someone who'd been hurt, it was very difficult to take those prayers. But through that sorrow, God taught us a lot of faith. That even when we don't understand, even when we don't know what's going on, that God is still there that no matter what happens, my reliance is on Him. And as soon as I started relying on God, the sorrow started to go away. The understanding that if I trust that God has everything handled, then there's nothing in this world that's going to stop me. There's nothing in this world that's going to hold me down. I was letting this sorrow affect my relationship with God when God was trying to use it to bring me closer to Him. Um, you know, now we, at this point, we have a beautiful nine-year-old. Uh, the, the prayers of our pastor were, were definitely answered. And the understanding that it took that time of sorrow for our faith to be solidified in who God is. So, that's my story.